Hey beauties, so today is going to be a what's in my makeup bag video. This was requested from my last video because I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see it and you guys did want to see it. So that is what I'm going to be filming for you guys today. Like, but yeah, I'm filming this. Yes, I am. Anyway, this is my makeup bag. This was actually a free gift from um, a Estee, Estee Lauder free gift thing. And it is from the Lily Pulitzer for um, Estee Lauder little set here. It's really like just a standard size and the zipper is just this little Estee Lauder logo circle. Inside is very pink, but let's just get into it. Random order because this is not organized whatsoever. It's just like thrown in here. Inside here is usually like my most used products. So that'd be why they're at, like at hand at my makeup table so I can use them. First thing I see is my favorite little lip product or lip gloss right now. And it is the NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. I really like it because of the formula. It's not sticky and the color is really pretty. The next product is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the color Elusive. And this is one of the new little balm things from Revlon. And it's just this pink color. I also have this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Istanbul. My friend Maddie also got me this actually and it's just really pretty. I can't explain the texture but it's like totally matte when you put it on but it's super super nice to have. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I also have a Maybelline's Baby Lips in here and it's the Doctor Rescue one in the color Pink Me Up. Let's just condition my lips and stuff. The number one thing that I actually put on my lips every single day before I put on lip products is the Aquafina Flavor Splash Lip Balm in Raspberry. This is a great lip balm, very like underrated. Um, I found this at Walmart in a set of four for $2.99, I mean $2.44, in like the Carmex or like the Blistex section for like lip care. I'll get you some of that because this is amazing, very hydrating, and it's a must have for my makeup bag. I also have the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. I use it for my brows. It's getting like really disgusting, and I'm using like most of it's already gone, so I might get a new one soon, like I have to. This is like the only brow thing that I put on my brows. Like, like I don't use anything else. So that's that. Moving on, I also have the Maybelline Baby Skin Little Pore Eraser. Besides this, like since I'm using this right now, I don't have my other favorites in here. But another one that I really like is Professional. This is like kind of greasy, um, but it works really well. Just like the Professional, just a really different texture. It's not that silicone-y, but it works. It's a little tacky, so yeah, I like this. I only have one more um, little like face primer type thing but this one is the Too Faced Primed Poreless Skin Smoothening Face Primer and this is actually a face primer this just says a pore eraser but this one is absolutely amazing I love this I really want to buy the full size this is just a little mini sample of it but it's a really cool um, pore eraser little primer I also have this Tarte Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint in the color Destined I got this in a mini set for the holidays, I bought it myself because I wanted to try them out, but it's just a really pretty like dark magenta berry color. I also have another lip um, surgeons from Tarte in the color Cheerful, and this is also matte. I love the matte ones. Like, look at that. Like, I just swiped it probably like two times, like, you know, back and forth. And then this one is Destined. Like, look at that. Like, look at that. Like, I love that, okay? I also have another Revlon Color Burst Balm thing, but this one is the Lacquer Balm, which is shiny, and this one is in Enticing. Um, it's a little sheer. It's like a sheer red, but it works because you can build it up really Really well and I'm wearing this also on my lips a little bit today so yeah the next product I have is the baby lips dr. rescue in soothing the sorbet and this one was the one I'm talking about I wear I wear this one more than pick me up but they're both really cool colors I also have this NYC Appalicious lip balm and this one is just a tinted lip balm and not not a lot of people talk about this a lot of people don't like the smell and stuff but this one is in the color pink lady and it's just a really cool um, lip balm I like to use sometimes if I'm just like lazy or something but that's that I also have a couple liners I have two or actually three because one is duo dual um but i have the scanalyze rimmel london waterproof coal kajal or kahal eyeliner and this one is in the color nude and i like to use this on my waterline when i want wide eyes or something and i also have the estee lauder pure color um, little eyeliner thing and it's in the color black and cocoa and black and black I got this in a little palette travel set um, from my mom on my birthday so I got this and it's a really great liner I don't try many liners but this one is really dark um, but the color payoff is amazing you can definitely tell a difference between the brown and the black yeah 
uh, it's black and that's brown so yeah so yeah this is great for traveling since it's like duo so yeah I love this very much and I'm wearing the black one on my waterline and little like little like smudged out on my lid I also have the hello flawless oxygen wow little like tinted sunscreen foundation type thing and uh, this is in the color petal and i'm really light right now for some reason because it's winter but i will surely get tan this would be like 10 shades lighter than me but it's working great for me right now i'm running out of the sample i really want to get the little like book that comes with the mini foundation itself with the little pump but this is working great for me and i'm really excited um but yeah that's the little foundation sample that i keep in there because it's amazing actually and thank you to the sephora lady who gave me that sample because i don't know how i could live okay i also have my dream matte powder from maybelline i'm running out like a lot but i have another powder for me to use back up with this i couldn't find this again at walmart because i think it's replaced with dream wonder or i just couldn't find it but um i just have this powder it's really good powder for anyone with oily skin out there but my backup is the rimmel stay matte powder so if you have ever tried this one please tell me how you like it or something but i heard it was really good for matte um for like a matte complexion if you want so yeah i got that but it's not my makeup bag i don't know why i'm showing you this but um yeah anyway moving on i also have a concealer in here and this is the maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circle concealer and this is a really 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 great concealer i love this stuff this one is in the color light pale or you know like light or pale you know you guys ask me what my shade is and how i find it i just match it up to my face but this is usually for just the center of my face where it's like the lightest so you know like Anyway, that is my concealer. Probably gonna have to get another one for the summertime because I'm like really, really dark. Like, like I was freaking like this shade in the summertime and this looks like really dark with me like, right now. Like, look at that difference. But Fit Me is a really great concealer. I really need to get my shade in that one. But this is amazing. Um, I also have a bronzer in here. I kind of broke my Chocolate Sully bronzer during the tutorial of the Valentine's Day one where it's like elegant or something. I, you know how I like have to like throw it and reverse it to look like I'm grabbing it? Yeah, I kind of threw it and it broke, but I kind of had to fix it too when I did. And it didn't work out so well because I think it's like cocoa powder or something. And it did not work out because it looks like this now. And that isn't cute in my opinion, just saying. That was a sample anyway, I'll just buy the full size sometime. Anyway, but this is like a whole like old favorite. And this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in sunny and everyone likes this i already hit pan on it but it's super amazing um i also have three mascaras in here because you know i like my mascaras and they're all mini sizes of high-end brands i have benefit they're real i also have a full size of this um that i got for my birthday um but it's a really cool mascara i'm wearing it today i also have the Too faced better than uh that word because i'm too like like kiddish to even say it because i'm not even that mature but it's the better than sex mascara i set up oh my gosh it's just a really great mascara the weird the name is a little weird and the formula is great i like the brush it's really thickening um i like this so you know and the last mascara is a holy grail mascara i love this i want to get the full size very soon because i'm like running out and this is like drying up on me so oops i kind of got it messy and i layered this over any mascara i wear like i never wear one mascara so i love this like i need to apply it mascara like i could just use the viewfinder Woo. I have an Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Original. I just tried this out. This was like a $12 mini, but it's a good size. This was in the Beauty To Go area in Sephora, and it's really cool. I like this eyeshadow primer. I don't see a difference, but it definitely does not make my eyeshadow crease, so that's good. But then I also have a couple lip products. I have the Tarte Lovely Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint, like the regular kind that um, isn't matte. It's just like a lip tint, and as, as you can see, it's like a little sheerer, almost like the lacquer ball in the formula. But I also have the Tarte Mary Kuja gloss in this nude color because this is really great for any type of lip color this is in the color row and it's a really pretty lip color i love this stuff like i love this look like, oh so pretty like, i'm really bad at swatching angles right there and last lip product is the all may um liquid lip balm in the color pink pout and it's a really pretty lip balm type thing and i like to apply this by itself when i have a lazy day um but it just is a tinted lip balm and it's liquidy it's fun to apply i kind of need a mirror for this type of 
um, thing, but you know, it's pretty. I have two last products for the cheeks. I have the Benefit Benetton Mini, and my friend Maddie gave this to me, and this looks really pretty. I'm wearing it right now. Only a slight bit, but I don't usually use this on my lips. I like it for my cheeks better, but it's a really pretty, like, stain. It lasts forever in school. And I also have the Benefit Watts Up Highlighter, and I got this for my Beauty Insider birthday type thing, and this is amazing. I love this stuff. And I'm wearing it right now, right here, on my brow bone, and our eye corners, and the cupid's bone, a little bit on my chin to give that, like, natural glow. And I love this stuff for like just like any type of highlight or all over shadow like that's so pretty like what? Yes. Anyway, that is my what's in my makeup bag video, you know, I just filmed it so you know anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video that's all that i usually have in this makeup bag i sometimes switch out lip products and stuff but mainly all my face products that is what i wear i'll do an updated one when this whole bag changes for the summertime or something because i'm like a totally different shade i hope you guys enjoyed this video please request more videos down below for me to see and write down so i can do them for you guys sometime and don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter at talk about lisa right here and i will see you guys in my next video so yeah, I kind of always say that twice, but yeah. Bye, beauty!